see how it creates a nice soft shadow. Now off camera I went ahead and finished this part up right here and then unmask everything. Now I've taken the panel off camera and I've clear coated it. You can see how nice this looks using soft shadows, dagger strokes, Now what I've done is I've laid out where I'm going to have my stripes. Now I'm not actually going to do red, but I'm going to pull the red ones out. Now we'll go in with our white. I'm just kind of lightly fogging over it. Go ahead and create a high spot. Now we're just going to take our black and we're going to shadow this. See what I'm talking about there? Now everybody that's taking a class from me, I, I say it over and over and over, dagger strokes. This is what a dagger stroke is. That's like, I'm going to go right here. That's a nice soft dagger stroke. This is not, this part here is not. Can you imagine what that would look like on the end of your tip? I've already got a stencil here. You can go down and buy these for like a dollar at a craft store. And we're just going to add a couple here and there. Let's say you want to try to add one out here on the flame, but you don't want to go over top of the flame. So just remember, when you lay it here, right there is the edge of the flame. So I'm just going to spray through the center of, the, um, of where I can... Hope everybody enjoyed this video. Now I've did this entire process using Wicked Colors by Cretex. Now they're a very awesome product. Um, the detail colors are insane, how fine of detail you can actually get. And uh, I'd like to thank uh, Dave Moaning from Coast Airbrush for turning me on to these products. Again, this is Ed Hubs from Full Blown Customs. If you guys are interested in learning any of these techniques that you've just seen on this video, be sure to check out fullblowncustoms.com and purchase my new video, Wicked Colors. Thanks for watching, guys.